Today's project is replacing this old programmable thermostat with a newer model. Uh, this one gives us programmability four events per day for a total of seven days plus heating and cooling. Uh, this one's got some issues with the button sticking, so we're going to replace the whole thing. But before we do anything with this unit, we have to go somewhere else. We come to the fuse box, circuit breaker, and disable power to the heating and cooling unit so that there's no damage to either one of those items or the new thermostat. We're back at the old thermostat, power's off. It's changing only because it's being run by battery power. Um, but this unit, you push up on a tab and it takes off the front. Here's the important part. This wiring, you're going to need to match that to the newer unit. So uh, there are markings here, G, Y, W, R, H, B, O, R, C. And they'll give you little stickers with those letters on them. You want to attach those letters to the wiring so that when you remove this plate and put on the new one, you can match them back in and your system will work. If you don't do that, you're just asking for a lot of trouble. Okay, I've labeled my wires and now I'm just undoing the final screw so that I can take this face panel off and hopefully the new panel will drop in using the um, same openings. And I think that'll happen because these are both uh, from the same manufacturer. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these screws and take out the wiring which is labeled and then attach it to the new device. We've got the faceplate on and just screwing it in and then the next thing I'll do is I will connect these colored wires to the appropriate uh, connectors on this back plate and don't have to drive these in really hard you just have to be snug otherwise you'll either crack the plastic or deform it and then the unit won't snap together okay so I've inserted the correct wires into the correct slots and tightened them down so that they don't come out you don't have to over tighten it it's just enough to keep the wires in place because this isn't moving uh, we're done with that now we're going to take the front plate Make sure there are batteries here, and we're going to attach this. This should just snap in. Shouldn't have to force anything. And now the only thing that's left to do is to switch on the power so we can test the unit. Back at the fuse box, we flip the circuit, and we go to our thermostat. Here we are at the thermostat. cool thing about this one is that when you touch it, gives off a pretty cool blue light and the unit should now operate we hear the fan coming on and if I put it into the heat mode it tells me it's in heat mode uh, it's too warm in the house because it's set it for 69 but it's good to go your wiring will vary on your particular heating and cooling unit. So follow the instructions, but it basically it's really easy. Oh, one thing they don't tell you in the packaging is to open this unit, you push with your thumb and pull back with your forefinger to, to open it up. It's kind of a silly thing that they didn't mention, but it's not always that obvious. Anyway, good luck.